is the Lava Rush HD here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a bucket or spigot Minecraft server with essentials. So the first thing you're going to do is go to getbucket.org and all the links I will be using in this episode is down in the description for you guys. So first thing first, download craft bucket or spigot if you want. But I'm fine with that. Save this and make it download. I have a little bit slow internet right now, but I will be back when it goes to be. And it's done downloading. So now you take it and put it to your desktop right here create a new folder because it's gonna make a lot of mess with all the new folders and files that are gonna be on your PC so just make a folder I will call mine server else rub it in and double click to run it and to say you will need Java but I think you already have that because you have Minecraft so you're just gonna open this uh, Eula and make this to true instead of false and save it and you can use notepad or notepad++ any text editing f um, text file editing program so you can run it again and a lot of files should be here and you'll actually just need when all this is done you will need to get your command prompt and you do that by uh, right clicking down here and task manager and then you will have to find because I forgot that you'll have to find this one down here called a uh, java.tms library and this is exactly the same as this one up here so go down, it's just under the Java, Java down here and there comes, comes some more. So when you have that you need to cl click add task when all this is done. That back to where it was. And we are gonna go on the website again. Yeah, that was the wrong one. And now we need to uh, uh, right now yeah I, I don't know where it is uh, minecraft.net right here menu browse and download click on this one down here to make a server and you need only this one this co strip of code right here you click that and you go down to your folder right here and you make a new text document and just call it something so you know what it is and mine is right here and you paste the text in and here's what you need you need to make take the craft bucket name exactly and change it to whatever wish version you're running right here so craft bucket uh, and then dash and dot jar and I will give I uh, think one gigabyte of RAM is enough right now and you save as and then you save as run dot bat and when you save that right here it will make a new one that is a batch file to run it and you can just delete that right now and when we double click this to run it it will open this and I will also post the exact command for this in the description for you and just Get all this to spawn in.
and all done. So now you can log on to Minecraft. So this here, you can see all uh, multiplayer, and you can just go into uh, this one called Direct Connect, and this local. Let's spell it wrong. Local host and join server, and it's uh, is logging in. And there we go. Servers that, and I can just give myself op here and up here. So and that came right here. And uh, now I can make slash slash game mode one, for example, a flower run. But we also need essentials, so we just need to stop the server. We can do that from here, and then we need to go to this link, the uh, Jinx and uh, uh, Jinx link. For essentials X, that's the newest one, and we need this one uh, called essentials X uh, 2.0.1, and same for essentials chat and essentials X spawn. So when you have that, you will open your folder, blah, folder, go to your plugins folder, drag, oh shit, drag and drop all of these into here just like that and we have all of these files right here so now we can go back and run the server with the run file again and it's done direct connect and you can also just uh, add a new server. And here I am. So I uh, in another video I'm gonna show how to make like uh, ranks and stuff. So you can when you join, there's like it looks like uh, I could just I don't know any a. Or and in L and then just like say this and this and what else then a four again It was just some quick guy, yeah, but it could be much, much more fine. And you see, because my name is Red, I know, and I, oh, down here, it means that I'm OP, and it says owner, and you can make it flash and stuff like that. Uh, I actually think I'll just make that right here. So, do this, and a, a, yeah, there we go. So that's uh, you you can't uh, make the, those color codes in normal Minecraft, uh, but you can't here. And if you just make like up here so a spawn platform, so obsidian and diamond block, so that and so that. Make something that is just a little, little bit symmetrical. Bear in mind, my symmetrical skills are bad, but we can try. So, one, one, and that, have it like this. And if the sparks, uh, the blocks is passing out, it's just because I have my shaders on. So, 
I'm just playing right now. So when you have that, uh, you can make right here. S stand right on top and look the direction you want. And then set, set spawn. Just like that. And when we go down here, you can see if you type slash spawn, we will see pt big tp exactly where we set the spawn so that is probably the most for essentials and and setting up a bucket server there will be many many more plugins I have uh, um, I'm at trying to make a list where of all the plugins I think should be in that I should make but if you have ideas yourself and you need to have a tutorial on it, just uh, please re uh, comment it in the comments and I will re write it down on my list and you will be credited for commenting. Yes. So, yeah, your comment will be shown on the screen. So that was actually it for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time, bye.